So Jim Kosek is with AccuWeather, and he has the latest. Jim? Well, I got to tell you, Julie, uh, out of the uh, 60, 65 million uh, affected that you mentioned, I, I got to say the vast majority uh, affected by power outages. And by that, I mean a minimum of 90 percent. So think about that. Let that soak in as you see how big, how huge Irene is. Reminds me of Hugo back from 1989. Different storm path, but nonetheless a beast to say the least. Now, it'll deliver the knockout blow to uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, making it on uh, Onslow Bay, maybe the eastern flank. That's going to be in around Cape Lookout during the latter stages of Saturday morning, probably as a Category 3 hurricane. So we're talking about 115 miles an hour for the sustained winds coming up along the uh, Jersey Shore shortly thereafter during the course of uh, late Saturday night, Sunday. Probably about 90 to 100 miles an hour for the wind. Now, if it goes east of New York City, which is what we're thinking, it's a three to six foot storm surge across Long Island. That's not quite the intensity of the Long Island Express from 1938, but formidable to say the least. If it goes west of New York City, that is a worst case setup because the water has to funnel in past the Verrazano Narrows and that would flood all the way past Wall Street. Hopefully the storm will track off to the east, but still widespread flooding. We're talking a lot of wind along the coast, at least 80 to 100 miles an hour and a lot of rain, eight to 12 inches in New York City. Keep in mind, the ground's already saturated for more recent storm systems over a large part of the Northeast. So unlike that 1938 hurricane, which felled two billion trees across the Northeast of New England, this will have millions and millions of trees coming down. So hence those power outages that I mentioned, Julie. Jim, uh, thank you so much. AccuWeather's Jim Kosa giving us some very uh, important, vital information on the path of this hurricane and what effect it might have on our area everywhere on the eastern seaboard.